Hey fairy friends, I am back with a video about my fairy polymer clay fairy dolls. And I'm going to need your help because as you can see, this cutie needs her hair and she needs some clothing. <laughs> so that's where you guys come in. I'm going to present four choices, A, B, C, and D. And at the end of the video, I hope that you will put in your favorite color combination. This includes her dress color. Those are her wings. Her dress color and her hair color. Now for this doll, she's not one of my larger ones and she's not posable. She's more like a figurine. So I'm limited on what I can do as far as the style. But you guys can help me, at least with the color combinations. So here we go. I'll just set her down over here where she'll be safe. And I will present the first color combination. Here is choice A. And I'll show you the hair first. Now these colors are the softest of all four. You'll see the next three. These are the softest. They're like a pastel, kind of a little bit washed out, kind of like um, watercolors, but they're still very pretty. And what I like to do whenever I'm working with these um, for hair is I will take each of the three colors and sometimes I don't use all three um, not in equal amounts at least um, and the style does make a big difference but for now I'm just showing a longer hairstyle with the colors so I'm just taking smaller sections of each so that I can put it against the polymer clay to see how it looks. Now with this doll, she's a little bit fair complected. She does have some rosy cheeks. And I do different col uh, polymer clay blends to get different um, skin tones. So it really does make a difference is to take the time and even switch around the colors if I wanted to make maybe blue, the blue be the um, main color and the other two colors um, just be highlights. So there's the hair that goes with this. This is A, remember. This is a nice um, shiny eyelash yarn. Here's another yarn that's very fibery and soft. There's multiple colors running through that. And then I picked out a sheer color to go with it. And that is choice A. And here is choice B. I wish I would have came up with creative names, but I'm very tired today. <laughs> so let's look at what I've selected here. This beautiful, soft blue. It's a little bit purplish. And an eyelash yarn that's yellow and green and blue. And a material that's sheer. And it's a soft but bright green And here is the hair coming up soon after I arrange that. Here we go. And this kind of reminds me of a mermaid. This would be the colors um, I think I would use and I have used for one of my mermaid dolls in the past. And it looks like that one has all the colors in it so I'm going to use a little length of that and put it against her face and I'm really liking that color if you like this one the best this is B combination B remember that one I'll go over them again really quickly at the end but that's B and now we move on to choice 
C, this combination has another soft yarn that has, it's kind of like a, mm, I don't know what color blue to say that is. Um, I should know, I'm an artist, but whatever. Um, another eyelash yarn, a multicolored eyelash yarn. And another sheer color that coordinates with it. And some teal, some aqua, blue, turquoise, whatever color you would want to call that. And I'll get a little of each color. I'm trying to make this video not too super long and boring. <laughs> but get all of those colors. Again, the polymer clays that I mix up for the different skin tones. You just never know what color is going to be the best. And also the eye color. These ones are blue and I do painted eyes sometimes, but mostly I do glass eyes. And the glass eyes can be brown or blue or green, but it all affects the skin tone and the overall effect at the end. So this is combination C. And coming up is our last one, combination D. Another soft yarn in purple. And another eyelash yarn that's multicolored. And a beautiful bluish purple, a royal blue maybe. Again, I'm an artist. I should have these colors, these names in my head. But anyway, get a little of each of these beautiful colors to test against her skin tone. And maybe whenever she's finished, I can do a video and everyone can um, come up with a name for her. Get a little of each and put the colors against her skin. Whoops. She had some crazy comb over there for a minute. And you just look. And I know sometimes people just have their favorite colors. Uh, when you're a doll artist, you do have your favorite colors, but you have to remember you have your collectors to keep in mind. And you have to vary things so that you have everyone's favorites every once in a while. So that is color combination D. And so there you have all four choices. Please help by putting in the comments your favorite color combination. And I will do a follow-up video of her all finished. Give her a little privacy there. And in addition, if you'd like to see how to make this beautiful bed, canopy bed for your doll, put that in the comments as well. I promise you it was cheap and it was very easy. Thanks for watching.